Let me introduce uh, Mr. Okoy Obono Obla. He's a legal practitioner and a member yes. of Legal and Security Directorate of the APC Presidential Campaign Council. He joins us via Sky from our studios in Abuja. Morning and thank you for joining us today. Uh, let's get your impression first and foremost about all of this call uh, to use the temporary voter card as well as the permanent voter cards. I mean, we looked at some legal provisions because some lawyers, some people have gone to court and I next said, look, if that happens, then we will have a challenge. Your party was also reported to have gone to the court seeking that INEC also allows those who want to use their temporary voter cards to vote. What is the current situation about that now? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, yeah. can you hear me? Well, I can hear you. Yes, I, I, I think uh, it is uh, PDP that is uh, trying to call for vision. Uh, PDP is trying to prohibit the system. But, uh, PDP is trying to paralyze the country by saying that uh, people from the north, have, uh, uh, about 80 percent uh, of people from the north have gotten their PDP cards, and then those from the south, 50 something percent. And they actually suggested that uh, INET uh, should revert to temporary voter card in the next election. Whereas these rules were set up by INEC about one year ago, and they did not say anything. So why are they now, just about uh, six weeks to the election, saying that INEC should change the rules? Is, 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 is it true that they are, they are afraid of a defeat? So that is why they are trying to overheat the policy. They are trying to cause confusion. Because if you look at the electoral act, INEC has the power to enact rules to, to regulate its uh, election. So why, why is PDP trying to interfere? Why is PDP going to court? It's because PDP actually went to court. So APC has to apply to be joined so that it can be heard. It can present its, uh, its own uh, view. On the, on the issue. So what is the view of the party? Are you saying you, you, your party doesn't want, uh, don't want the TVC to be used? No, we want the TVC to be used. No, it is TVC that doesn't want uh, TVC. They are not saying that there are no card readers. Uh, there are no TVC. But look, in, even in the United States of America, in the United Kingdom, and the advanced democracy, you don't expect 100% turnout in a given election. So if about 50% or 70% of Nigerians have obtained PVC, then the election should go on with PVC. In, in the last election, that is 2011, our, the, the total turnout was just about uh, 40 million. There uh, were about 30 million. Then so the, um, uh, uh, President Jonathan about 24 million, and other smaller parties about 5 million. So it, it was not up to 40 million people that voted. Right from 1999, uh, when we, we returned back to democratic civil rules, the turnout has always been between uh, 40% and 45%. So why, uh, why is PDP today insisting that the turnout must be 100%? They must have an agenda, and they have to tell us why. Is it true that the PDP is trying to hit the policy, cause confusion, and then uh, the election will not take place? As some PDP uh, shifters have suggested, the, the spokesperson of the president, uh, the, the, the special assistant to the president of media, Daniel Kope, suggested that there will be a coup if uh, APC wins. It says so. And uh, nobody has, he has all repeated that statement. It was on, on the social media. Mr. Bono Obla, I, I, just a moment. You know, I'm, I, I hate to interrupt you, but I think that uh, you, we, let's take certain facts into consideration. You've mentioned uh, civilized countries, or beg your pardon. You've mentioned more advanced democracies, as it were. And you say that not 100% participation is always achieved. But you do know that the circumstances around the 2015 elections are a lot different. We did not have a big opposition in 2011. We do have one now. Uh, you always know that the north-south divide uh, always plays a part in our elections and will also play a part in this election. They are pointing out facts and figures. 
80% distribution in the north, 50% down south. Are these... Let me tell you, I am from, I am from the south, but I don't, I don't care where the president of Nigeria comes from. I am a pan-Africanist. And I don't care whether you are Wufa, whether you are Fulani, whether you are Ijo, whether you are Ifit, or whatever you are. Well, I'm afraid that you cannot use your personal... The consciousness, the political... Just a moment. Can you hear me? If you can... Can you listen to me? May I land on my question then, if you can hear me? I was saying that you cannot use your personal preferences uh, as something on something that has been shown empirically in terms of voting patterns over the years. If this is how people usually vote, you cannot say that it's going to be different because you feel a certain way this time around. Okay, what I'm saying is that the political consciousness in the north is very, very high than the south. In the south, I am from Fort Worth, where you ask people to come and collect your card, they will want you to give the money to come out. When you to ask somebody to go and register so that you can vote, they will want money from you. But if it's not like that in the north, maybe to a, a smaller extent in the southwest. But in the south, south, and southeast, the political consciousness is very, very low. You have to give money to people to come out and, 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 and you know, participate in uh, whether it is registration of uh, voters or collection of uh, uh, PBC. You will not mobilize them. Otherwise, they will not come out. But if it's not like that in the north, maybe that is uh, responsible for the disparity between the north and the south. It is not deliberate. That is what I'm saying. Right, it's not uh, because, uh, Mr. Mr. Let north. me bring in this point so that we can uh, let it go back and forth in quick succession because of our time. Earlier, you did say uh, if we have 80% distribution of the PVCs, you think the elections can go on. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't that somewhat suggest that you are saying that INEC, because as at the time the elections were originally scheduled to hold, we didn't have 80% collection. We still don't have 80% collection. So then, would you say INEC was ready or not at the time they were supposed to have connected? INEC said, we are ready. For goodness sake, if you look at the Nigerian constitution, the body responsible for the conduct of the election is INEC. INEC says we are ready. So why are you saying that we are not ready? INEC says we are ready. The, the, it is not the business of the military or the army or the police to say we are not ready. INEC says we are ready. They are very confident of that. And they, they still say we are ready. Did you it believe they were ready? Sambo went to London and suggested that the election will not take place because of Mr. Obama, did you believe you that, that they were so, ready? Uh, uh, security, security, security. And next they were ready. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Did, did you believe that they were ready? Yes, I do. And because I met the body responsible for the conduct of the election. No other person, not even the president. It is I okay. So uh, let's uh, give them the benefit of doubt. All right, ju just hold on. Uh, uh, they, they have been saying that with a lot of confidence. We are ready.